Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Walt. Let her know I'm here. At once. Need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. That access door is connected to the spa. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. That appears to just be a patron. lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. Oh, I have an appointment. Bad shoulder. The main entrance is around the corner. That's not why you're here. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD made you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best to be honest. Lies insult us both. <laughs> this is Harley's secret to get, not mine. Secret? A fourth grader could piece this together. Project Lotus is what we're after. And this is it. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. But it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. and shine. wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. She's not going to hurt me, Pain. She trusts me. Mm, trust is a fragile thing. One imperfection, and it's destroyed forever. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane! Tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there are more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. And they all fell down. 
to the deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me, my dad. Made me feel safe, like nothing could hurt me. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. What's left of them. But it's nice to know I have a fan. Been running short of those lately. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh faced and optimistic. How am I doing? But who's. who's that? <laughs> Oh, that's rich. <laughs> nice try. Butcher a book. And I read ya. I'm glad you have a friend in this world, Bruce. That's invaluable. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you must have missed something. Catwoman and I are loyal. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Spoiler alert, I ain't taking your word for it. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever. I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat! <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. It's okay, it's okay. You have to keep it up. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Thanks. You hitting him already? I'll let it play. I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. And who knows if she'll stop there. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but... This is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. Internally. You know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. 
just like we talked about. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Get him inside. You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I can help. You need me! Yeah. Once you're an ice cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica. It's a cost. And my war on crime is no different. The truth is, no matter how hard I fight, sometimes I have to lose. In order to save Selena from this fate, I had to give myself up. My life for hers. Now, there's nothing to stop Harley Quinn and her crew from killing everyone at the Sanctus facility and stealing a virus that can wipe out Gotham. Meanwhile, I face the cold embrace I'm here. I'm here. Harley had me thrown into one of Freeze's cryo chambers. But I'm okay now. Oh, 
Well, that's a relief. I'm afraid I was starting to panic. I've got it under control, Alfred. Is the pact still in the subway? No. I'm bringing the car around. Call Waller. Tell her the pact means to slaughter their way into Sanctus, and I'm going after it. What? They'll have you shot on sight, Bruce. I'm not going as Bruce. It's time to let Batman handle things. sign of Harley or the others. spa workers. More death and destruction. This blood trail looks like they dragged something. for Project Lotus. Do you have access? It's got to scan my eyes. <sighs> Another use for Riddler's eyes. Call it for me. No way. Those freaks are down there. They'll kill me if they see me. If you do it, I can stop the intruders that attacked you. I'm not supposed to let anyone in there. But... All right. You gotta stop them. Send paramedics. I've already made the call. to Director Waller. She, um, wants to speak with you. Now. Put her through. Batman, where are you? Give me a status update. I'm at the Sanctus facility. I split with the Pact, and they beat me here. It's a bloodbath. I ordered you not to blow your cover. What the hell were you thinking? You could have been there to prevent this. I was thinking about stopping the pact, which is way more than you're doing right now. Don't make this a fight with me. Just look at the bodies and ask yourself if it was worth it. We'll be there to back you up soon. We're gonna put an end to this once and for all. Looks like Sanctus security barely slowed them down. That's why you have to keep them there until we arrive. That virus cannot be allowed to leave the facility. Don't mess this up again. This door lock requires a key card. That's a regular symbol. Some sort of hacking program. Card 
here. Hopefully it was quick. No key card here. Someone's trapped under there. His final moments must have been painful, horrific. <sighs> Scientist. <clears throat> Easy. You'll just injure yourself more. It's too late for that. Stop them. Here. Take my... anything unless I say so. We don't know what half this stuff does. What are you doing? You saved my life by taking the rap for the laptop theft. I'm returning the favor. I'm on guard duty along with three gunmen who are all watching that door up ahead. If I hadn't stopped you, you'd be full of holes right now. We don't always see eye to eye, but I'd much prefer you in one piece. I'm just glad to see you alive. Same. After seeing them throw you in Frieza's meat locker, I wasn't sure if that was the end. I've seen a lot of death recently. Hardly encouraged Freeze and Bane. They killed anyone they wanted. I should have done something more to stop them. But I didn't. Fake! What did I say about touching the equipment? <laughs> Be quiet, you imbecile! I'm going to make this right. I'll help you stop them. Whatever I have to do, they're not getting that virus. Whatever it is, I can do it. Good. We'll fight them together. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Could kill ya. So keep your hands to yourself. Let's do this. You know what you're doing. Of course I know what you're doing. Don't you worry about making a mistake. Do not distract him. He can execute this job perfectly. You should be keeping an eye out. Shut it, you two! Tick tock, Freezy! Get the virus and let's go! It's an automated extraction process. You can't rush it. <sighs> I've seen Freezy's popsicle wife move faster than this thing! on us, kitty. I weighed my options, and what can I say? I don't like to lose. You made a big mistake. The virus is almost extracted. All right, Bets. What made you think you'd be able to stop all of us? I wouldn't put money on your chances of walking out of here. Maybe we should try 
therapy circle. I'm not alone. Oh, we'll bury you side by side in the pet cemetery. Unfortunately, we have a tight schedule. But I always have time to kill you. Get him, boys! <laughs>
Alfred, call Tiffany and tell her to get to the manor. Harley escaped with a virus. Right away. Get me a proper lockdown crew in here, stat. I want bioscans on freeze. Do not let him out of that airlock. Move it, people! Good work here, Batman. Good work? Harley escaped with the Lotus virus. Your girlfriend, Catwoman, is nowhere to be found. Same goes for your boy, John. So if good work means half the pact is loose in Gotham, and we've got a megavirus in the hands of a psychopath, then yes, this is picture perfect. Oh, I could think of some more colorful words to describe this situation. Catwoman and John are not a concern. Our focus needs to be on Quinn. As much as I hate to admit it, you have a point. Sanctus, right under our noses all this time. Oh, chemical weapons, human experimentation. Sanctus was, is, the darkest part of the Agency's history. Oh, this place is just evil. And that's why we're shutting it down once and for all. We can take some of this equipment and put it to good use. Sounds like a risk, Waller. You don't know whose hands this tech could fall into. Why don't you let me worry about that, Batman? I'm gonna need your help tracking down Quinn. She's out there with the virus, and that's a threat to Gotham we simply can't allow. Freeze must have an idea about where she'd go in these circumstances. <laughs> don't waste your time with that maniac. He'd say anything to throw us off track. But he's our best lead. Well, I disagree. Freeze is nothing more than a science experiment gone awry. You best keep your focus on Harley and the virus before anyone else gets hurt. That was strange. She just completely shut me down. She's normally so open to all possible leads. Waller was out of line. She should know better than to ignore your instincts. Usually, she does. Listen, Director Waller may think it's a waste of time, but I say leave no stone unturned. I'll see what I can find out. Hey, Will. Give me a hand with this, will you? I think there may be something we can salvage back here. to yourself. I wanted you in jail. <laughs> Perhaps you were right. I'm here to talk about Harley Quinn. I need your help to find her. If you want me to tell you what I know about Harley, I'm going to need something from you in exchange. The agency intends to keep me prisoner with this virus living inside me. They mean to study me. Given the chance, I could beat this. Just like Riddler, he became stronger for it. You're saying Riddler became infected with the Lotus virus when he worked for Sanctus? If he could survive it, I believe I can too. <clears throat> That dial, there, they've keyed it into the temperature regulators in the airlock. All I need from you is to turn that dial. Let my body do the rest. Lower the temperature in the airlock. I know that I can fight this. <sighs> 
I won't do that, Freeze. Please. The Lotus Virus doesn't have to be this. Riddler's blood can turn the virus into something that can heal. That's why we stole his body. Why your friends in the agency had it on ice. My Nora will perish if I don't use Lotus to save her. They merely hope to cure himself of his addiction. Harley already has the virus. And now she needs a blood sample from Riddler's body. With it, she will have what she needs to create the serum. She'll go for the body first. That's how you will find her. I already have samples of the blood. Look for a temperature-controlled container. No. You have what you came for. Please, reconsider. I need to get to the subway right away. If Harley's trying to make this serum, she'll go straight for Riddler's blood. I'm coming with you. The secondary properties of this virus. The serum they want to make from it. I've got a feeling Director Waller didn't want us to hear that. Which would explain why she steered you away from Freeze. What is she up to, I wonder? She can't keep secrets from me. I always get to the truth. <laughs> I have no doubt. Don't worry about that now. If we hurry, we can intercept Harley at the lair. We could use Bruce on this one. The less attention we draw to ourselves, the better. What does that mean? If Harley sees Batman coming, she may do something drastic. But if she sees Bruce, she'll think she can take you. You don't know I'm the one that told Waller who you really are. Hmm. Are we... Are we all good? I'd like to clear the air, in the interest of full transparency. It's your job to figure people out. Can't hold it against you. Whew. I'm glad you see it that way. I suppose I should have seen this coming. She's become more and more erratic since she came to Gotham. I hardly know what she's going to do next. Harley? No. Director Waller. You say she can't keep secrets from you. I never thought she'd have reason to keep them from me. I have to admit, a part of me was sort of hoping we'd be taking the Batmobile. Not that this car isn't great. But, you know, it's no Batmobile. Well, maybe next time. Oh, so there's going to be a next time. You've put a lot of time and energy into this crusade. I prefer to think of it as a mission. Do you ever question it? Not the mission. I mean, the methods. The clandestine nature of what you do. The fear tactics. The occasional brutality. No judgment. Just curious. I've done what I had to do. I don't always enjoy it, but it's part of being... Batman. If I don't question it, I'm as bad as the criminals I fight. That makes sense. I'm having a bit of an existential crisis. Existential crisis? Yeah, it's Waller. Why wouldn't she want us to know what Freeze told you? Things have gotten gray recently. 
too gray. I don't know if I'm on the right side anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. You should trust your instincts. They're what make you good at your job. I'm glad to hear you say that. It bothered me when she allowed the pact to obtain Riddler's body. Wait, that was intentional? I've had deep reservations about Waller. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that out loud. But you told her I was Batman. Bruce. Hey, you sure you're okay to do this? Absolutely. You know, I looked through Gordon's case files about Harley. Her father suffered from mental illness that eventually drove him to suicide. An illness with a strong hereditary link. It's very possible she wants the serum to prevent the same thing happening to her. If she fails, she's got one deadly plan B. <laughs> Don't sound so worried, Batman. I'm here to help. We're almost there. Freeze me to death. Then we're on the same page. <laughs> Harley. She must be gone already. Do you think that means she already has the vials? I don't know, but it's worth a look. Maybe she got scared off before she could find them. C4, plastic explosive. Only a little, though. Must be remnants from something bigger. I don't remember Bane making bombs, and it doesn't match Freeze's M.O. Who then? Harley? John? Even money on both. Blood, but... Was this here before? Dried. Must be from when Harley shot Bane's men. are gone. C4 and stolen blood. So how do those two things add up? So... Keep looking. damage this. Hey, Avesta, does this look familiar? We call it a liminal device, a not quite as powerful phalanx key. Some agency field ops are issued one, and if they left it, they must have been rushed. 
An agency team has been here. It could have been used to access Freeze's container with the vials. supposed to preserve him obviously it failed right decomposition is actually accelerated they purposefully disabled the capsule if that's the case then they were trying to destroy the body it's textbook asset denial but it's some sloppy work they were moving fast too fast the rapid decay I wonder if that's a side effect of the virus, or being in that capsule, or both. Close. Why? If Harley decides to release the virus, that sample may be the most valuable weapon we have. Alfred, I did a bioscan of Riddler's corpse. I'm sending the data to you. The body is breaking down, so do your best with it. Received, Bruce. It's... Oh, my. This may take a bit of time. So, Waller takes the blood and has Riddler's body destroyed. That would make her the only player who could create a viable Project Lotus sample. Having all the pieces to the puzzle. Oh, my God. Bruce. The Pact all had problems. Medical problems they needed solving. And if Waller's the solution, she can make them work for her. She's not above using leverage to get people under her thumb. I mean, look what she did with my identity. Harley. The virus. Dang, we flying through this episode. Cal, you there? I'm back. I'm taking over at the computer. the matter? Uh, Thomas, uh, let's, let's chat. Now's the time. It won't be long. Shh, 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 Alfred, Alfred, it's just a dream. Uh, I, will, I will not be quiet, Thomas. Martha and Master Bruce aren't safe with those people in the house. No, you, you need to think of your family. Please, please wake up. Bruce, I... Where, where, where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Oh, no, it was... It was nothing. I was... I was working and I felt... I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. Uh, and, well, basically, that's all there is to it. Hey, 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 slow down, slow down, relax. I'll take care of you. I couldn't be in better hands. Don't worry. I'll be back up in no time. Uh, oh, Chet. Hey, uh, hey, 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 be careful. Oh, oh, thank you, Bruce. I'll just 
catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. Yeah, I ain't gonna do my boy Alfred like that, y'all. Oh, whoever did this is gonna get their ass whooped. It's all nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look. Lotus. Megavirus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. The bioscan of Riddler's body. I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other for something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. Harley's already insane, Alfred. I doubt she's worried about taking it up a notch. Yes, you're probably right. Although if she wants the serum to avoid what happened to her father, well, <laughs> it's certainly ironic. Run the simulation again, then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Ah, I already ran it several times myself. I... I wanted to be thorough. Silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My real cure is a very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham. Then let's get you to a nice beach, huh? Or wherever you want to go. Ooh, the possibilities. That'll take some thinking. Avesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Waller's keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. Agreed. But be careful. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm trusted here. I won't let Waller turn the agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. The vials have to go. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. I'm sorry, Al, but we can't risk you falling again. Very well. Oh, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea, and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. It's definitely concerning. Yeah, I told you already that it's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. 
So, Bruce, um, after our little talk at your office, I had an idea. There's something I want to show you. So, I've been working on this in my spare time. I remember you said you could use the help, you know, when you're Batman. I started thinking about a tactical suit, in case I'm ever needed in the field. para aramid synthetic lining. Photoadaptive suit coloring. Full spectrum, full surround heads up display. I should be able to get the mesh fabricated in no time. I'm getting ahead of myself. The last thing you want is me out there on the rooftops with you. This wasn't all just about me. You've been going up against some heavy opposition, Bruce. More than usual. Alfred told me how Bane nearly killed you. So I designed you this. That's a gun. Let me read you the specs. Batman doesn't use guns, Tiffany. You mean, at all? I guess I've never seen you use one. But I didn't realize that was, like, a rule. I hate guns, Tiffany. Ever since I was a boy. I forgot. I'm sorry. Still, criminals are always trying to kill Batman. Are you telling me you've never once considered a gun? just to even the odds. It's a no-brainer. I don't let myself think about it. Once I go down that path... You don't need to say anything else. Listen, I should have thought it through more. I just got so caught up in the design, I didn't... I have a lot left to learn. No, don't be so hard on yourself. I have to go. We'll be waiting right here. John? Dr. Quinzel, this is Harley's.
They're not making this easy on me, you know? What am I gonna say to Bruce? It, it, it wasn't me. I, I, I mean, it, it was me, but it, it was self-defense. I, I know it needs work! Bruce? I'm so glad you're here. Please, it's... It, it's, it's not what it looks like. I, I can't explain. Just try and reserve judgment. What have you done, John? No, no, please! It's, it's, just hear me out. What happened? Is Harley here? She left just as I got here. The agents, they came looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce! They're supposed to say, hands up! I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took a hold of me. Something dark and vicious and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> You think this is funny? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous. You said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Huh. Really? In the back. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's... It's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I... I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. I've just been sitting here in the dark until you came in. You can be straight with me, John. Why wouldn't I be telling you the truth? If I hadn't fought them off, I'd be the one lying in a pool of blood. You... you, you believe me, don't you? Because if we don't have trust, what do we really have? It's, it's the foundation of any healthy relationship. John, there's more to this story than you're letting on. What the heck? You're supposed to be on my side! I guess I'm an idiot for expecting that, aren't I? What do you mean? Whatever this is between us, it's off balance. The goodwill only flows one way, and it isn't towards me. You made that very clear by now. Yeah, it is off balance, but not the way you're saying. You are the one surrounded by corpses. Corpse? It's all my fault. Why should Bruce Wayne have to take responsibility for anything? I should have known things were wrong the moment you put that tracker on me. You've been using me from the start! At least have the decency to admit it! The least you can do is come clean about that! I'm not stupid, Bruce! Please, please, don't feed me any more lies. Okay. Maybe I have been using you. I'm sorry. John, but there's more at stake here than your feelings. It's like Dr. Leland always said. Never to mean another person's emotions! <laughs> John? <laughs> I know you can fight better than that. What do you need your bat suit? 
to really get you in the mood. What? You forget I know you, Bruce. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy, businessman, criminal. Bat. You can't fool a friend. Someone who really takes the time to look. John, John that's ridiculous. I'm the furthest thing from Batman there is. No, <laughs> you don't have to keep your mask on anymore, Bruce. Not with me. <sighs> oh, are you gonna make me trot out all the evidence? All right, how about the vanishing act you pulled at the cafe when the bat signal showed up? You don't think I noticed how obvious that was? You think you can use that against me? As blackmail? Oh, I would never! We're two threads in the same stitch, remember? Bound together, even under strain. Then what's your point? After we raided the agency's convoy, Harley stashed one of their trucks here. And now it's gone, which means she's getting out of town across the Gotham Bridge. Let me help you stop her. I'm not asking for much, just a little faith. I swear to you, this was self-defense. One more time, you do believe me, don't you? You still have faith in me, don't you? Your old buddy John? No, I can't trust you. Can't or won't after everything I've done for you. Well, do what you have to do, old friend. This ditch is broken. We, we could have done great things together, Batman. But you had to go and ruin it. Hardly warned me about you. And now she needs my help. She was right. I belong at her side. Alfred, I lost John. Something tells me he'll be running right back to Harley. Anything I can do? Give me a surveillance feed at the Gotham Bridge. Harley's trying to get out of the city with the virus and a truck full of explosives. I'll need to suit up to stop her. <laughs> 